In Zambia, a child is born without access to proper nutrition. In Kenya, a baby struggles with basic health, as does the mother. In Sri Lanka, a young girl is sold into an unthinkable culture of violence and oppression. However, these lives can be transformed through the Salvation Army's commitment to the poorest of the poor as one army that does good around the globe. Look at Haiti, where the Salvation Army is already doing good work. Yet many people struggle with poverty and lack of education. Yet this can be changed. In Fond du Neg, the Salvation Army has a core, a clinic, a school, a children's home, and community programs established by Salvation Army staff from around the world, as well as skilled local staff, all serving the community's needs. And change has come, but more is possible. Imagine what it would look like to increase resources there. With a coordinated and integrated approach with defined outcomes, we can pinpoint specific efforts for each community. For example, improving health and life expectancy in Fontenegre by developing and implementing health education programs. Imagine all of the resources in Fontenegre aligned around that unified goal. Through this kind of stewardship, the Salvation Army in Haiti becomes a mechanism for sustainable, community-based change. Codifying the approach and sharing this across all of the communities the Army serves in Haiti could transform and save lives. This vision is not only for Haiti, but for all communities the Salvation Army serves around the world. SASA was created to further the endeavors of the Salvation Army in the United States to meet need in the developing world. We work with some of the poorest of the poor, the most vulnerable people. Collaboration is key and is necessary for our mission to succeed. We can do a lot to achieve transformative results in the lives of people who we work with. We are one army and we must work as one army to improve the lives of those who we work with globally. The Salvation Army has an unparalleled footprint of programs and institutions serving impoverished communities in 126 countries worldwide. For 35 years, the Salvation Army World Service Office has been supporting health, education, and community development programs in many of these countries. We believe the vision of one army calls us to do even greater good. We hope to inspire a vision of stewardship which focuses the power of the Army's global footprint and resources on a shared set of outcomes to transform the lives of the people we serve. Through your partnership and commitment, we can advance the Army's forces to do the most good globally. stories of our Army's work around the world. While the ushers are coming forward, I'm going to ask that the lights be turned up so that give us opportunity. Maybe you'd like to fill in your surveys as well as give you opportunity to find your checkbook. <laughs> now the officers and you may be surprised to hear me say this to you this morning, but we don't need your offering. The reality is that whether you give or not, this church will remain open. We'll still be here next Sunday, enjoying the music, singing songs, looking to the scriptures, and worshiping God. I've considered this many times as I heard that we have to give to the church and that God expects us to give our tithes. How could I, as I thought about it, with all the needs that we had? What difference would it really make whether I gave or not? 
But then God spoke to me in agreement with this, actually. The church doesn't need me to give. It will exist without me. But I need to give. I need to give. I needed to examine the, the priorities in my life. Billy Graham said, a checkbook is a theological document. It will tell you who and what you worship. God help us as we learn to give because we want to give out of love for God and not just because we are compelled to do so. You know 2 Corinthians 9, 7, each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Shall we pray? And now, our God, we pause before you to say thank you to you for your amazing love every day, and we do so through our gifts unto you. Thank you, God, for allowing us to express our love to you in this way. In Jesus' name, amen.